Mark, we'll start with King of Dr- Kingdom of Dreams. Last uh, start winner, first up in his uh, second run, uh, goes into the Yellow Glen Stakes over 1,410 metres. Massive class rise for him, experience-wise. Look, he's a horse that's, you know, pretty handy, but maybe the experience may be a bit uh, beyond him for a race like that. I don't know, but certainly he's a horse with a good future. Coming to this big stage, it is a step up, but it gives you an idea of uh, where he'll head, obviously. Oh, I think he'll, he'll make it into a decent horse, and this is actually not a bad race. So oh, I think he'll go okay, but he'll be a better autumn horse. Are you looking for him, uh, obviously, 1,400 metres? Can you see him going to a mile, to a mile and a half? Or what's your view and take of him at the moment? Oh, well, we've just got to wait and see and take each step as it comes. So, you know, sat down sort of certainly tell the story. I mean, there's no sense getting too excited after they win a maiden at Manila. Then you've got Sheer Talent in the headquarters tavern stakes over 1,410 metres and a talented horse that won here at Flemington uh, over this distance. Yeah, look, he normally takes a run or so to get right. I mean, he has got good form for this race, but that was last preparation. He's a stallion and he's a little older now, so you would think that he would need a run. How's he looking uh, from your eyes now? Yeah, well, you know, he's done really well and he's a bit behind the others. And that's why he's got a late start, but, uh, you know... His first up record's been sort of pretty questionable and from there on he seems to train on. He's a stallion, so you can accept that. He's been in the money uh, most starts, but first up, can you see him running a cheeky race here Saturday? He's never been placed first up, so uh, he'll run a good race. I mean, you know, he's always around the mark, but uh, he rarely wins first up. Spring ideas for him? Well, we've just got to see where he takes us. He might be sort of uh, an emirate source, something like that. Then super cool, and we all know him, and he's coming into a red-hot field of the Turnbull Stakes, but uh, right into his prep, and he's certainly elbow deep to really give this a red-hot shake come Saturday. Yeah, well, he likes this track. He won the Australian Cup over 2,000 metres at Flemington third up, but he did have some residual fitness from the spring that year. He's come off a long spell, and he may just need one more run to top him off, so he's he'll be around the mark. Is he where you'd like to see him at the moment? Well, he's... he's uh, Saturday's not his target. He'll probably, you know, that run will top him off and, and from there on in he'll be pretty right. But wouldn't it be surprising coming back to uh, his home course here at Flemington if uh, he took this out? Oh, no, nothing, nothing surprises. I mean, he's got a very good record at Flemington, so, uh, you know, he's certainly a horse on the way up. From the two races he's had in his prep, did you expect him to be where he is at the moment? Yeah, I did. I, I mean, that was where it was. I mean, he ran into a bit of trouble last start and still finished it off strong. He's going well. Best out of the three for Saturday? Probably super cool. Okay.